This program is not intended to replace professional legal advice or representation. If you have a legal concern, you are strongly encouraged to seek the advice of an attorney. Hi everyone, I'm Yannick Otto, attorney at law in South Florida with the Otto Law Group. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Now You Know the Law. So a few years after you got married, the person you thought would be your life partner decided that he made a mistake and this is not what he signed up for. He's now gone about his business, engaging in several other relationships, and eventually he moved away and stopped communicating with you in so much that you don't even know where he's living or how to get in touch with him. After many, many years of crying and feeling depressed, you finally decided to get a divorce and move on with your life. But there's one small problem. You can't even find him, and you know that it takes two people to get a divorce. How can you get him to go to court with you and get a divorce if you can't even find him? Well, here's what you need to know. In Florida, the courts do not require the consent of both parties in order to get a divorce. All that is required is that proper notice be given to the other party. So if someone files a divorce, they need to have the paperwork properly served on their spouse and the spouse will have 20 days to respond to the petition before the case can move forward. But in a case like the one we started out with, if you file the divorce and then attempt to serve your husband at his last known address and he can't be found, and then you conduct a diligent search to find him and still nothing, the court will allow you to run an ad in the newspaper called a notice of action to put your husband on notice that you filed a divorce and to give him an opportunity to respond. Now, if he does not respond within the required time frame, the judge will be able to grant your divorce based on what's called a default judgment. This simply means that you win the case based on the other party's non-responsiveness after they've had an opportunity to do so. Note, however, that the judge will not be able to make any rulings regarding time sharing for your children or child support. For those matters to be decided, the other side actually has to respond and be part of the proceedings. So here's the bottom line. It takes two people to get married and it takes two people to stay married. Florida courts will not force you to stay in a relationship which the other person has decided to leave. There are several legal requirements that you have to meet in order to get a divorce in this manner, but it can be done and we can help you do it. If you're in this position, give our office a call and we can help you. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time. I'm Yannick Otto and now you know the law. Now You Know the Law is brought to you by the Auto Law Group. If you have a legal question, give us a call. We'll either help you with the matter or put you in touch with someone who can. To have your questions answered in one of our episodes, you may submit them via our Facebook page at facebook.com slash autolawgroup. The Auto Law Group, providing legal solutions.